Hello everybody, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we are taking a look at the iPhone 12 mini here in the white color. Now, one of the first things you're gonna notice is that here, not really white. It's a little bit yellowish, kind of like a sunnish tone to it. And that is because as we will see here in a sec, as we saw with the 12, this is a nice surprise of a color. I say a nice surprise because it's first, it's not white. So if you're looking for a pure white phone, this isn't it, but it's actually a very, very, very nice color that I would personally get if I was getting the 12 mini. I just really do like the kind of earthy look that it has to it. And it's tough to see uh, upon, you know, first opening the box, a lot of people say like, well, it does look white and it does look white. And I think it just, it becomes more clear when you compare it to something like the, well here, this is the Pro Max, but of course the Pro also comes in this silver color, but the back on there is almost like a frosty white and you can kind of begin to see the difference there. For example, this is AirPods white. You put that next to it, again, you can see that the phone does not look like that. Even when we put the white box, you can see now the different whites. So white box is probably the, mm, no, actually the silver here is closest thing to white here in person, but the box also is very close to white too, or basically white. It's just, you know, cardboard, so it looks a little bit different, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what to expect with the white phone. And uh, in the color comparison video that I have, you will be able to see how different the color looks under different lighting conditions, but hopefully, eh, that kind of helps you out a little bit. Here's another white color. So you can see that there. And let's even grab a third or another white color. So we can see this one too. So this one's actually the silver 10. You can see how much that has changed. But you can see all the different whites that help kind of tell. The one back here is like a fake one, a fake 12, but it, it shows a white. And uh, I think it just helps see all the different whites there. So you can get a closer idea of what I mean when I say it's not really white. It has a slightly gold tint to it, almost like a pinkish blush, almost colored. And uh, it looks very nice. It's nice and earthy tone and it goes well with cases. And uh, it's a nice compromise since we don't really have a pink or gold phone here for the 12. Let me real quick show you here what's inside the box. We just have a SIM eject tool and an Apple sticker in there as well as the USB-C to lightning cable as well. So nothing really special in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the special thing, which is the phone itself. You can see the aluminum sides here look very nice. It's not a straight up silver aluminum. Again, there's also a tint to the aluminum as well, but it's really something you're gonna have to see and really inspect in person because most people out there will not be able to notice these differences. This is just something that I personally am a fan of colors. I like colors, I like design and stuff, and I like to pay attention and look real close at these things. So I can, uh, you know, I'm basically inspecting it instead of just looking at it and seeing just white. Um, but basically if you do put a case on this, like a black case or anything, it is gonna hide a lot of that tone and you're gonna basically get a black and white phone. But the nice thing is that then if you put a lighter case on it, it's also gonna match nicely with that. And it's not gonna look pure white. It's gonna look a little bit off white, which is gonna help match with cases a little bit better than just a pure milky white. Um, you know, it really just depends on the look you're going for. Now let's put some things off to the side, close this box and put it off to the side as well. And let's talk a little bit about how this phone feels. I mean, I do that right there because this thing does not feel like you can drop it. It is tiny, it's nimble, it's easy to hold, easy to move around, easy to put in a pocket, pull out of a pocket. It is just something else that we haven't gotten in a really long time. And you might be saying, well, we have the SE and all that, but I will show you in a second that this is even smaller than the SE and the iPhone 7, all the smaller phones we had in the past. Obviously not smaller than Apple's first devices and stuff like that, but it is quite small. I just wanted to show you here what we have so far, and this is the blue, the green, the red, and the white all next to each other so you can get an idea there of all the colors and uh, see which one you like the most. You can see the aluminum sides there on all the colors, quite nice. Now let's go into the sizing here to see um, what you think about the size. So if you're coming from an iPhone 7, SE or any of those, you're gonna see a slightly smaller form factor with this mini. Not by a lot, as you can see there, but it is smaller. If we boot up the screen here, you'll be able to see 
how much screen you actually get with the mini and it's basically a full screen phone of course aside from the notch that you get at the top but that's for face id if you don't like face id well then you always have the se which still has touch id but i do recommend all the benefits over this phone and if you will miss touch id i think this will be worth getting and you'll get a lot of bang for your buck here as well as those beautiful cameras that take amazing pictures so you can see that there you can see the displays there how this one just cut off at the top and the bottom it wasn't great you're gonna get more screen real estate on the mini even though it's a smaller size which is crazy cool and you're still gonna get all the specs of apple's flagship you know it's this is as fast as a max basically yeah you're not getting shorted you're not getting a lesser screen this is still an oled display so it's gonna be a heck of an upgrade from any of the lcd displays that we've got in the past i think the 10r and the 11 still had LCDs. So this is even an upgrade from those in terms of everything. It's got better cameras, better display. Everything's better on this one. Now that's how it compares to that size, but how about if you're coming from a 10 or a 10S? Well, that's this size right here. And you can kind of, I'm gonna try to put it right there. You can see it's a little bit smaller than the 10 and the 10S in that. And I compare it to this one and not the Pro because the Pro's slightly bigger, let me see here, than the 10 and the 10S. And it's honestly, it's, it's just hard to put these without scratching screens, but it's slightly bigger than the 10 and the 10S. So if you're coming from this, it's a little bit smaller. And if you're coming from this year's, or you just want to know how it compares to this year's 12 Pro, well, there you go. It's a little bit smaller. Now, oh, I can't put that on there. If we compare it here to the Max, you can basically get an idea there how big the devices are. It's crazy. So let me go ahead and just hold these so you can see relative to my hands. And then if we grab the Max here, relative to my hands, it's a small phone. Then again, the Max is also a huge phone. So worth noting, this feels great in the hand. It's a little bit small for my hands, like almost sometimes feels like it could, I could cramp up if I was using this for too long. If you like the smaller phones and um, you just need something that's nimble, easy to like slide into a pocket, put in a purse pocket in the outside pocket, um, basically fit it into any pocket that you want. And uh, this is the type of thing that you'll feel like, is it even in my pocket still? This is that, and it feels really, really great. Now, one of the things that I wanna show you is exactly how this looks if I'm holding it here, like I'm texting from a distance. Now here's two hands texting it. I don't know how that looks. Maybe it does look like I'm a little cramped, like I'm using too much of a small phone for uh, how big my hands are. I don't know, let me know. One hand to texting, here that is. Mm -hmm. It's definitely small, but I could get used to it. And I think the benefits of having the ability to just, you know, slide it into any pocket are quite nice and not have to worry about feeling like you're gonna drop it because it's just so light and easy to handle. And then what if you're calling? So how does this look here? I'm talking on the phone. I'm trying to look to see if it looks fine, but I don't know. Does it look too small? I think this is how I would hold it if I was talking because I would cut my hand a little bit so they can hear me better. And uh, you can see there, the silver phone there talking. Mini, of course. And just as a quick comparison, let's go ahead here to the max, ready? One, two, three, boom. How about that? Hmm? Maybe it doesn't look as drastic as I thought, but it feels drastic enough. So now let me show you here how the uh, white color looks and different lighting condition there and just reflecting the light, the aluminum on the sides. This is definitely the color I think I would get for the 12 or the 12 mini if I were to choose that one. I personally have the graphite 12 Pro, mm -hmm. there you go. Now let's move on to showing some cases here. Um, first thing we're gonna go ahead and start off here with uh, a few things here. One thing that I wanna mention is the wallet case here, just so you can see how it looks on the white phone. And also how it just looks on the mini in case you haven't seen that. It looks pretty cool, it's basically as small as a wallet, which is crazy. So you can basically see the mini there, credit card size. And uh, let's go ahead and put the wallet case. Not, I keep saying wallet case. It's just the leather case from Apple. So you can see that. This case really matches basically any phone color. It's crazy. And then the front right there, you can see some of that silver aluminum there on the sides. One of the pros of this color is that it's basically gonna match everything. If your favorite color is red, you can buy the white phone, put a red case on it. If your favorite color is purple, you can buy the white phone and miss this because I forgot to remove the thing. So not as cool as I thought it would be because I thought it would, I'd be able to just slap that on. So, and we continue. If your favorite color is purple, 
then you can just put a purple case on it and it works really well. So this is a versatile color. You don't necessarily have to get the favorite color as a phone because you can get your favorite uh, color as a case. And I think the white one is just gonna be the one over there with matching anything. If you get tired of a certain color, then just... And I had to do an abrupt cut right there because my uh, camera ran out of memory. So uh, as I was saying, if you don't like the white color anymore, then you just put on a black case and then you get this really great combo that I feel is timeless and you're not really gonna get tired of. So this is a great color to go. You don't know what color to get, you know what? Go with the white. I'm saying it right now, you won't regret it. Any case is gonna look great on it. You'll be able to match it with anything. Anything is just gonna match really well, as you can see here. Look at that, it just works with any of the cases we put on. The same cannot be said about any of the other colors that I've shown you, you can see there. So, highly recommend this white color. And uh, this is the color that if anyone's asking you what color should you get, go with the white and then just tell them it just works with any case. Just buy your favorite color or case or skin or whatever. And this is gonna match very nicely. And then uh, I think you're gonna love it. I think this is the color that I would go with for the 12 or the 12 mini. And it's just a really great color. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you can, that really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.